let's take a look at the Wilson Electronics WeBoost Drive Sleek Vehicle Signal Booster Kit. If that would focus, it would tell us that this is uh, applicable for 4G and 3G LTE, uh, supports all carriers, supports all phones, and it provides up to 32 times better cellular coverage in your vehicle. Well, I'm going to be using this in my in my apartment. Uh, I live in an apartment with two foot thick concrete walls. It's half underground. There is no cell signal in here whatsoever. This is a phone on the Google Fi project, so it will use T-Mobile Sprint and U.S. Cellular depending on what's strongest in, in your area. Uh, and here there's nothing. This is true for AT&T and Verizon as well. There is no signal in here. Signal Spy is question mark. There's just nothing here. Um, so even though this is meant for in-vehicle use, I thought I would give it a try for in-home use. It's it's less than half the cost of a WeBoost unit where you've got a um, stronger amplification as well as a, another like repeater that broadcasts the signal in a in an area. Whereas with this, the phone has to be in the cradle. Can't be next to the cradle or kind of laying on the cradle. It actually has to be snapped into the cradle to get the boost. Carrying cases don't seem to make any difference. Uh, I've got a very slim case on here. The quality of the signal that that the uh, cradle is, is sending doesn't seem to be hindered by having a, a little case on there. Um, so there's the cradle. The phone's still totally usable in the cradle. You can access your ports. Uh, if you had ports on the top, you're not going to be able to get to them in the cradle. So that's a drawback. And uh, it only comes with a 12-volt cigarette lighter power supply because it is meant for in-vehicle. I've just got it being powered by my Rock Power um, power station for the time being. Okay, so I'm going to put the the uh, camera down, get the phone into the cradle, and we'll see what happens in terms of uh, usable signal from it. Okay, so the phone immediately locked on to an LTE signal, mm -hmm. and we're already receiving some kind of data here. Got a WhatsApp message. Signal Spy now knows that um, it's a Sprint signal. So let's take a look and see what kind of Sprint signal we've got. So that's a usable signal, or it should be. Let's see what we can do in the way of browsing. got some emails and the market watch feed refreshed weekday but um, yeah so we've got a usable signal and LTE and this is just with the, the setup kind of haphazard outside. I've got the magnet mount kind of sitting in a, uh, like a window ledge, so it's far from ideal. If I upgraded the antenna, this, this signal would probably be even better. And uh, even if I just got the, the little omnidirectional magnet mount in a better location, I think the results would be better. But that certainly is, is good enough for me, um, just having some kind of workable signal in, in my apartment versus having nothing is fantastic. Uh, Google Project Fi does allow for Wi-Fi calling and text and stuff, but if my internet goes down, which it does often, uh, I'm really out of luck. Like, I have no communication to the outside world. So, I would say this is a success, and we'll do some more testing, maybe make another video, but uh, I'd highly recommend this.